ability to talk to anyone new about almost anything has helped me immensely, not only in my personal life, but also in my professional career. And there are three key things that help me be successful in making these relationships and keeping these connections. One, embrace vulnerability. Every week, Thursday evening, from New York's LaGuardia Airport to Charlotte, North Carolina, the flight is typically filled with executives, other consultants, and professionals. In one particular case, uh, the gentleman sitting next to me and I struck up a conversation. We talked about his former job as an FBI agent. We talked about his family. And he ended up being a technology partner at a big four consulting firm. I left that flight with a business card and job offer in hand. If you are able to communicate effectively and make relationships on a personal level, you have already proved that you can collaborate. And what is the only thing better than a technically savvy engineer? A technically savvy engineer who can communicate and collaborate. Two, engage in your surroundings. It's very common that we work with people that we've never met. And the minute you do put a face with the name, and begin to learn about these people, learn about their families, their hobbies, their friends, they become real people. You begin to invest in these people and these people begin to invest in you. I was already relatively invested in the Carolina Panthers football team when I found out that I share a dry cleaners with Luke Keekley, and I was carrying at least five pieces of clothing in my hand that needed alteration when I realized he was standing in line in front of me and I knew I had to say something. I said, man, traffic jam at the, tri at the dry cleaners, huh? And that may not have gone as well as it could have, but it went. And now, when I see Luke on the TV, I cheer a little harder. He's not just a football player, he's also my neighbor. So when you begin to meet people, maybe put that cell phone down, maybe take those earphones out, you might hear a piece of information that you can relate to or that you're interested in, and that is your ticket into that conversation. Last but not least, practice. Practice, practice, practice. Let's not pretend this is easy. So start simple and practice often, every day. If you don't already, begin to say good morning to your neighbors, even if you don't know their names. Begin to smile and make eye contact when you walk down the street. So give humanity a chance to show you that the anxiety and fear and challenges that come with speaking to someone new is worth every minute of the risk. 